The hundreds of people will head to Dearborn this morning to honor the life and legacy of Congressman Dingell. 7 Action News reporter Matthew Smith is live in Dearborn for us this morning, right outside the church where the funeral will be held for the Dean of Congress. Matthew, what type of crowd are we expecting today? Well, you know, if uh, Monday's visitation is any indication, it will be a large crowd. Uh, at the bottom line, we're saying goodbye to a Michigan icon, the longest tenured congressman in our history of this nation. And frankly, along the way, the laws he wrote well, touched the lives of millions. When he had a rough week at Capitol Hill, he'd come in and he would just be able to pause and breathe. It was home. For those who knew him best, Dingle was a man who loved to serve. If that wasn't evident by his nearly 60 years in Congress, it was in the work he pulled off during that time. He's really the answer to cynicism about government. He believed that government could accomplish things for average people. Congressman Dingell was passionate about health care, making sure that everybody, no matter who they were, no matter where they live, have access uh, to quality health care. Certainly, I always admired him for his work on the environment as well when it came to protecting endangered species and clean air, clean water. Tuesday marks a special day, the first of two funerals. Monday's visitation was certainly a difficult day. Tears could be seen by some. Congresswoman Dingell making the time to shake hands with the thousands pouring in to support this family in their time of need. The congressman's daughter, saying that was needed. And I think the outpouring of support and all the folks that are here today is helping us through the loss and grieving process and we, we thank and love everybody for that. The support continues today inside the Church of the Divine, beginning at 11 speakers ranging from former Vice President Joe Biden to Congressman John Lewis will take the stage offering words of hope and thanks for a life of service. And the names that you just heard, some of the people that will be walking through that door, I think it kind of speaks to the volume of the legacy of Congressman John Dingell. Died 92 years old, but certainly left his mark on this country nearly two-thirds of his life, serving all of us. Of course, we'll continue to bring coverage and bring you those personal stories. Our two-hour special coming up later today, we'll have team coverage throughout the day. For now, we're live in Dearborn. I'm Matthew Smith, 7 Action News literally gave tens of thousands of votes. He gave his life to public service. Thank you, Matthew. Well, we will be there as the public pays its respects to John Dingle in Dearborn today. Our live coverage of the funeral will begin in just a few hours at 9 a.m. All right, time now.